It's very difficult to do. Yes. Now that is what I call a subway sandwich. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike. You are watching Spud Boys TV. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I am going down to Spitty Retail Park because there's a little hut there called the Little Steak Hut, and I want to try his food. Oh <laughs> God bless me. As you can see, it is an amazing day today. Um, I have the sun cream on to stop me from burning because for some reason I'm not very good in the sun. I got attacked by a leaf. <laughs> yeah, so there's an award-winning like um, like van, I guess, um, down down in Spitty. It's called the Little Steak Hut. It's won loads of awards. Um, the food looks amazing, and what a perfect day to like sit outside and eat it and do a proper little food review. Um, the only issue is I am going to cash on my only card. So if he doesn't take CAD, then unfortunately, this vlog is not going to happen. Well, it is, because I'll just find something else. But hopefully, he does take CAD, and hopefully, we get to try some delicious steak. I went into the shop by there to get myself a drink, and I was like, do you know what? Nothing really tickles my fancy, and I seen this. Mountain Dew Spark, do with a blast of raspberry lemonade. From America. This cost me one pound fifty. I absolutely love Mountain Dew. Um, when I went over to America, so like, oh, I'll try some Mountain Dew. I was like, nah, cold red. It was amazing. It's like cherry Mountain Dew. So we're gonna try this right now for your lovely faces. Oh, I better not put it on there. Um, hang on. <laughs> Mmm! <laughs> mm. <laughs> Tastes like Sour Patch Kids. Mm, I don't know about this. Now unfortunately, although it's a delicious beverage and it's Mountain Dew and it cost me 150 I'm not a fan, so I'll have to dispose of it in a bin because it's quite a lot left. It tastes like there's a there's a squash by Vimto called like peach and raspberry. It tastes like that. So not bad. I'll give it a bronze bud though. I just don't know if I said because I'm but I can't, what, what, what? <laughs> I just can't. What the hell? I think it's because I'm getting older. It's just things like I used to love Mountain Dew. And I bought like 12 packs from on like eBay and it just tasted weird. Motherfucker, those bollocks are bloody dropped in the bin. My hand is now full of Mountain Dew. What the hell has happened to that? Oh my god, what is that on it? Right. Yeah, that's that. That's not a. That's not being consumed by me, otherwise I'll probably shit my pants. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Spitty Retail Park. Um, over there we've got a Nando's, we've got... Oh, that's new, what's that? It's called... Gourmet Ford. Food Hall and Bar. Saucy chips. Fat burgers. Something and something. Oh. Well, if this guy's shut, maybe, well, it, it looks, it looks empty over there, but, um, you've got, like, um, a bunch of clothes shops, stuff like that, and um, there's a coffee house, um, Nando's, just by there, which is awesome, by the way, I love Nando's, maybe if the, if this guy's not here, um, we can get a Nando's, you've got the Max Spencer's Food Hall, they do steaks in there for a tenner, and I know you're saying, ten pounds sounds a lot for steak, but, bloody hell, they're amazing, um, yeah, they've got a Greg's. Everywhere there's a Greg's. But my guy is down there on the corner. He got a little van called the Little Steak Hut. And hopefully he's there. Obviously with the heat and um, with, uh, well, the fact that he takes a card or not, I'm not sure. But if not, we'll we'll come back as it is. Uh, look, we've got Tesco here. They've got a little cafe. Uh, you've got Subway. But I don't want to do, do review those places because Everyone knows what they're like. And obviously you've got a, a place here called Meet Up, which is a, a new restaurant. Um, 
but I think I think on a Saturday they don't do like a like a cheaper menu I think on a Saturday they do more in a, a more expensive menu while we're right next to it we're gonna go and have a look it is literally in Tesco's Uh, lunch menu. Is this for Saturday as well? Fresh sea bass, homemade lasagna, homemade spaghetti bolognese, English breakfast, Turkish breakfast, or an omelette. Eight quid, around ten quid, look. And then just the mains. Okay. Well, like I said, we'll go see if uh, the, the, the guy's there. Maybe he's not. I don't know if I'll go in there actually pay any quid for a wrap. I'm not sure, but there's Nando's. I could go Nando's. But I really don't think you guys want to go see Nando's, are you? Anyway, let's see what these guys are eating. There you go. <laughs> there you go, mate. That's what meat up looks like. <laughs> so that there, that building there used to be an old Frank and Benny's. Um, you've got a Burger King. And um, there's a McDonald's just over there. That building there used to be Pizza Hut. You've got Cine World by here. Um, that used to be, what is it now? It's like a jump place, like an inflatable place. JD Dims. Now our, but our man, just behind you, if he's here. Like I said, I don't plan anything. Is he uh Is he uh Is he here? Uh, yes. He's here. So, so part one's done. Now, let's just hope he accepts cash. Uh, card. If he accepts card, we're on a winner. And I'm going to get whatever he recommends. Hey Hiya guys, um, do you accept card? No, we have a bank transfer if that helps me. Hmm. Sorry buddy. That's alright mate. I can find the nearest, do you know where the nearest cash yeah. point is? Just Tesco is it? No, on the front of the back. Oh the okay, floor. I'll go do that then. Cheers mate. Shit, 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 shit. I can't do a bank transfer and I can't draw up money because I'm using my credit card. And I can't draw any money out with a credit card because they charge you like something like 20%. So unfortunately guys, We'll come back to that. So, plan B. I do not know what to do now. Some little kid <laughs> just walked past a little kid. He's like, oh, nice vape, mate. So like, it's not vape, it's a camera. You're recording now. No. Why? <laughs> That's like, nothing to record. Ugh. So, do I have a Nando's? Do you guys want to come along to Nando's with me? Uh, it's just, it's going to cost me like £20 Nando's and I've only got £50 on the credit card but I kind of, because I, the limit's 100 so I spent 50 because I normally, when I do my vlogs I'll, I'll spend a little bit on my credit card um, and in my main account I've got no money <laughs> so I do not know what to do now I don't want, I, you know, going to Subway is boring Nando's might be a little bit different Let's go and uh, let's just go and have a look at Nando's. Now I've got a little bit of a problem now. I have to pick Logan up at one, and it's twelve now. If I go Nando's, they might take longer than a half hour to cook the meal, because it's going to take me about half hour to get what I need to get. Subway, I can get it right there and then, but I don't want to make this vlog boring, guys. You guys don't want to see Subway, do you? Unless I do some sort of challenge where I have everything in the Subway a sandwich or something, put everything in there. Not all the meat because I can't afford it, but like. All the salad, I don't know, is that, is that good? Oh man, I now do not know what to do guys. They got like a little cafe in here. Subway would be the quickest, but Nando's, you know, like I said, Nando's will cost me 20 quid. Um, it'll probably take too long to come, because this time, you know, on a Saturday, it's bound to be a little bit busy. Oh God, I'm gonna die now. So maybe we'll go, we'll go try Subway, maybe we'll go try something we've never had in Subway, something new. Or just say whatever you recommend, mate, maybe whatever. I'm sorry guys that this content's not good, like I said, I did want to go to that steak hut. But um... I know a lot of you... Bloody hell. I know a lot of you guys will come here and just watch the vlog anyway. Because you were all awesome. Don't forget to like guys, don't forget, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe mate. So we have got our subway, ladies and gentlemen. Just in case anyone's hungry and they fancy a subway, I've come to torture you. Look at that black shit on my arm. <laughs> That's from when I went to the abandoned, uh, abandoned place. Oh yeah. I want ice cream. I said you can get upgrade for 150 and get an ice cream. 
but then he said you don't have to give away your crisps and I was like well no I need my crisps in my sandwich alright let's see where we go hmm. so I have extra onions and cucumber a bit of sweet onion and a bit of extra mayo mmm <laughs> Sub is always a good spot. Always. Service, don't be rushed. I'm really busy. Because they got a lot of deliveries from Just Eat. So they're constantly, constantly working. But, um, you know, you can't really go wrong in the subway. So, guys, when you go to the subway, what is your number one thing? Like what do you have when you go to Subway? What's your your go-to thing? Mine's always tuna. And because I love loads of onions, I love I love all the salad. Like I've normally used to be tur turkey and ham, but since I've discovered the sweet mayo or you know, the sweet sauce with adding into my tuna, I made. <laughs> so what I'm about to do is very controversial. Got a few guys do it. Crisps have to be cheese and onion crisps, right? I haven't eaten that one yet. I just want to show you what I'm about to do. You should know what I'm about to do because if you have a subway and you have crisps, oh mate, I'm just, I'm just gonna tip them all in. That's my very nice <laughs> Crush. And then we crush again. With one hand it's very difficult to do. Yes. Now, this is... Now that is what I call a Subway Sandwich. Crisps just add another another layer of awesomeness. These guys were looking at me. They fancied me. <laughs> bottoms up guys, bottoms up. So I was drinking this right and I was like, my cherry, my cherry Pepsi Max tastes weird. It's really raspberry. Guys, I, I'm so sorry. I honestly thought this vlog was gonna be a little bit better than this. Um, but we're not over yet. I gotta go pick the boy up now and I'll just take you along with me and we'll chat on the way and talk about the future of the Spud Boys. <laughs> talk about the future of what I've got planned. And just let you know how things are going, you know? So if you are interested in like the um, stats, I guess, um, and stuff like that, then on, on the way to pick my boy up, I'll have a chat with you guys and just let you know how the channel's doing. Thanks to you, thanks to you. Hang on. It's all like weird dust on the side of my camera. Uh, thanks to you guys who watch the videos, you know? Like I said, this one's not that entertaining, I don't think. But it's me being me. <laughs> Licking stuff. <sighs> I know that smell. That's the KFC. Um, I used to work in KFC. And like, um, I think it was like 15 or 60 minutes. You used to put all the chicken in the fryer. And then when it comes to the end, it would release all the pressure. Because it's like a pressure, a pressure fryer. And that's what the smell is. So obviously it goes through the crack of the pan and comes out into the open air. People are like, hmm, KFC. I've still got fancy KFC. So, um, before I do end the vlog, um, talk about some stats. So we've just hit 2,300 subscribers, which is amazing. Um, considering, you know, three years ago, uh, there wasn't even a Spud Boys channel. Um, I did, just let you guys know, I did vlog before Spud Boys was ever made. And I'm thinking about putting that vlog on here. Uh, my first ever vlog, it was before Spud Boys, it was called My Life, you know? <laughs> um, and it's a little bit different from this because obviously it was the first time I've ever vlogged. And yeah, I think if, if you guys want to see it, I'll put it up on the, to the channel. Because um, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Because I watched I watched it the other day, and um, I thought it was quite cool. So I think I made two. I think there's two vlogs on my other my other channel, <laughs> which uh, obviously I don't use anymore. 
um, because that was the that was the, the first kind of YouTube channel I ever made and um, I did make a video just to let you guys know this that I had over a million views um, it was literally me it was like a TikTok I was on the floor and I was like sliding across the floor and I did it for about 15 seconds then I opened the oven I was like and into the oven and it just went viral I had over a million views but I deleted it I had a um, oh look Remember my Yorkie bar? <laughs> There's a bit of it there. <laughs> I got into a little bit of trouble when I worked in the cinema because I was making vines where I was messing around in work and I got really, really angry and I went home and I deleted my whole YouTube channel. Um, so I lost all the views because if you have um, a high viewed video and you delete that video, you lose everything. You lose all the views and stuff. So to be where we are now, is amazing and i do want to do like an extended an extended thank you to the ones that that always here you know now if i do miss your name out i am very sorry because i do love every single one of you you know all of your messages all your comments um they mean the absolute world to me you know when someone messages me saying mike i love your vlogs great vlog mike or they just give, give, give me a little thumbs up you know to me that's my job completed, you know? I'm, I'm accomplishing what I set out to do. You know, people are enjoying the videos and you might even enjoy this one. Like I said, I don't think it's that good because I couldn't go to where I wanted to go. But I'm here, you're here, we're both here. <laughs> I say both, it could be a couple of you. It could be a little family watching all on your big TV. That's what I do, every time I make a vlog, I sit down and I'll put it on the telly, I'm like, man, they're and watch. And I make them watch it. <laughs> Yeah, but seriously, guys, without you watching these content, you know, I'd probably still make content. <laughs> but you give me that extra drive to want to want to do better, to make better content. Um, three vlogs a week is difficult, especially when I don't. I live in Newport, you know. I don't drive, um, and I got to try and find things to do. Like today, you know, I found I found something to do. Um, which was good, because I wouldn't have never done that if I wasn't vlogging. <sighs> I've gone the wrong bloody way. <laughs> I'm supposed to pick up my boy up, and I'm walking the wrong way. Bad boys number one! Oh, nice. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching the content, watching this vlog. I hope it was good. Um, obviously, when I vlog, I watch, I watch YouTubers, and even if they're walking around a supermarket, I still find it quite interesting because I, I'm, what, I'm there for the, for the, for the guy, like you know. And hopefully, you guys are the same. Doesn't matter about the subject. You're here to watch me. <laughs> so I do hope you enjoyed that. Um, ooh, look at this. Ugh. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I can't, I can't express how much you guys actually mean to me and how much you mean to the channel. You know, um, there wouldn't be a, there wouldn't be videos um, if there weren't people watching them. So now I don't know where my son is. All these houses look the same, so I can't remember where I got to pick him up to. But yeah, that is the end of that. So thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm making a new one tomorrow, guys. Going to Newport Market. Ooh, exciting. You'll see that in a few days. Right then, see you all later.